With update 7.0.2 finally came one of the most long-awaited armor sets in all of Star Wars The Old Republic for fans who are a fan of the Old Republic Space Fashion Simulator. And this is the Valkorian's armor set. As you can see, this is my actual character in the actual game wearing the actual Valkorian's armor set. And um, this has been seen on the test server as kind of a preview for a very, very long time. And you guys message me on a constant basis asking me, when will Valkorian's armor set come out? We had no idea and we had no answer until today. It suddenly just showed up after the um, patch update. So as you can see, this is Valkorian's armor based on the character Valkorian from the Knights of the Fallen Empire and Knights and the Eternal Throne expansions as well as the trailers. One of the biggest differences that you will see is that this is for the player model. So there are going to be a lot of very tiny differences. Um, as I assume they're there to uh, help prevent conflict. For example, some of the details around the shoulders and the neck are going to be slightly different than what you see on the original armor set. And that's probably has something to do with Twi'leks and, and uh, Nadlins and all hair, stuff like that. And this set is going to look slightly different depending on what type of character and body type you have. The other big difference in a more canonical way is that this set does not have the blue underglow that you see on Valkorian's armor. So as good as this set is looking, you will not be confused for the Emperor. I'm terribly sorry. Um, so it comes with this uh, very interesting headpiece and I'll show you what this looks like better on a different character later on. But this is on my Jedi Knight Sentinel with a pair of classic Zakul yellow lightsabers, you know? It's looking really good. Like the detail is really high. Um, one of the biggest questions you guys had previously was how will the cape work? So the cape does seem to be unique as far as I can tell no other capes in the game quite share its design and its physics. It's a little bit funky. It's not it's not perfect by any means. You'll notice it, it's kind of getting a little zigzaggy when I move it around a little bit and the way it trails is a bit uh, interesting. But the biggest question you guys were asking is, is does my mount get stuck on a small step of stairs? It does. You guys were asking, does it get stuck in combat? So we're gonna jump in on this enemy and see how the cape performs. So it looks like it's still standing. Nothing too crazy. Obviously y'all are gonna do some more rigorous testing. Please definitely let me know in the comments below if you get this set and uh, you're spinning and kicking and jumping around, managed to break it. Um, what I'm looking for is it is going to behave crazily. That's just kind of the physics of the game occasionally, like when you're going down an elevator or when you're actually in the act of jumping in. But does it stay that way? That's what I want to know. Looking good so far. So if you want to pick up this set, it's currently 2,600 cartel coins on the cartel market, or you may potentially be able to find it on the GTN in the next couple of days, not right away. If you want to get it in collections, once you've already purchased it to unlock it across your entire account, it will be 400 cartel coins. Next question is how does it die? Let's open it up and take a look. So here is a dark red and medium purple die. It dies pretty atrociously, unfortunately. So it looks like Mm, let's see if we can unify this or not. We're still getting used to the new <laughs> the new outfit designer here. Um, the black of the skirt and the black of the outfit will die and the trim will die, but you will have to be stuck with the white color of the armor. And it doesn't look like that glowy bits of the armor change would die either. So as long as you're okay with the white, you should be good to go. But if you wanted to change it to like an all dark outfit, like with a black chest plate in the center it doesn't look like you will be able to do that unfortunately although the armor set does not have the signature blue lights that the armor valkorian has it does have lights that show up mainly when you're in darker areas around the edges of the pauldrons on the chest piece as well as around on the belt so they're not completely bereft of the lighting that the original Valkorian set has and it's quite noticeable when you go into the darker areas. It unfortunately does not match your lightsaber or anything like that but it is quite nice looking. I also wanted to show you a better look at Valkorian's crown. It is the headpiece for this set. 
Um, it goes all the way around the head and it has these, as players sometimes have been describing them, yellow or golden eyebrows that go over the forehead. It's obviously optional if you don't like it, you just don't have to wear it. Um, I will say though, on most of my characters, a lot of this gets clipped out by hair or different parts of their head and stuff like that. So if you have a character with hair, you probably won't even see this section at all and you'll probably just see the eyebrows. But if that's something important to you, make sure to obviously preview it on your specific character with their specific uh, character setup to see if it's something you like or not. Same thing goes if your character has long hair or has tentacles, you may want to preview the armor to see if the clipping is acceptable for you. Um, it's an inevitable part of playing something like a Nautilin or a Twi'lek. Um, it may not work well on your character, but maybe if you have a Nautilin with mostly tentacles in the back, maybe this is okay with you. So right. Um, unfortunately for my specific Nautilin, this didn't work well. Best way to check out if this will work for you is you can control left click the item and it'll give you a pretty good look about whether or not your tentacles are going to clip. Overall, this has been a long anticipated set. In my opinion, it looks really good. I'm um, especially happy to see that the cape physics seem to mostly be working, though I'm, <laughs> I hope you guys will not prove me wrong later on in the comments. Uh, the set seems to look equally good on both a female character and a male character, which I really, really like. And so far, all the points that we've looked at it look really neat. So uh, the last decision you have to make is, is it worth 2,600 cartel coins for you? That would be about, how many months of saving up subscriber coins? That would be about five months saving up your included subscriber coins, or you could probably earn this through the Galactic Seasons track for free as well. All right, see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this in-depth review of the Valkorian's armor set. See you later.